In this video, I'm going to show you the focus drum. And I'm zoomed out so that you can watch my foot and my hand move together. So that's really important. It's also important to count out loud and to have a metronome going when you practice strumming. That will keep your timing nice and steady. So, in the folk strum, we play on one, two, and. We play on the and of three, and then on four and. So it might be easier if I say which notes you don't play. You don't play on the and of one or on three. Okay? So the three is tricky a lot of times. Usually when your hand is moving down, you want to strum. For this particular rhythm, you have to move your hand down over the strings without strumming. That's probably the most challenging part of the rhythm, okay? So we're going to get our metronome going nice and slow. At 60 beats a minute, I'm going to be playing an E minor chord. One, two, three, four. One and two. So, when you're not strumming the strings, you still want to be moving your right hand and right foot down and up without stopping. Don't hesitate. Don't stop. Most people will kind of pause there. What you need to do is keep that right hand moving regardless of whether you hit the strings or not. Your right hand is keeping the time and it needs to keep going. That's the folk strum.